Hey everybody, Max from Gameface here. I just wanted to chat a little bit. We haven't done a vlog in a while, so I thought I'd put a camera in front of me and just ramble on for a little bit about things that are on my mind. So let's do that. So first and foremost, Gameface has been going really well lately. We just recently passed 7,600 subscribers, and that's amazing. Like seriously, I never thought we'd get this far. It's just been an incredible experience uh, making Gameface. I really am thankful for each and every one of you guys for watching and everything you do to contribute to the community as a whole. It's seriously awesome. It's one of my favorite things to like look forward to every day. I'm always thinking about what else I can do and how much more I can do. I feel like by the end of the year we might very well hit over 10,000 subscribers, which that's something I never thought would even happen. So just again, thank you guys. I also just kind of wanted to talk about some stuff that's been troubling me lately. There's a, I don't know if you've been following YouTube politics at all or whatever, but there's some stuff going on with like a lot of advertisers pulling off of YouTube because of a big controversy or something boycott. Um, it's affecting a lot of all YouTubers, basically. Um, so if you've seen anybody like YouTubers you enjoy watching freaking out or what have you about uh, not being able to do YouTube anymore, it's a scary thing for a lot of people, for sure. Especially smaller YouTubers, you might see a lot of people saying that the small guys are going to be really affected by this. And it, it's kind of true. It Pretty much everybody's like revenue has been cut in half. So anybody you knew that like might have been trying to pursue YouTube full time, maybe quit their job or something, they're they're having a tough time of it for sure. And it's uh, just make sure to let them know that you appreciate them and stuff because they could really use the support at this time. And I just kind of wanted to mention that to you guys. We're a pretty small channel, so we're we're gonna get by. Like we don't rely on the income. We still have jobs and stuff. It definitely makes things trickier, you know. Like basically, anytime I have extra money, I put that into time that I can do more for the channel. So. Less uh, revenue can honestly mean less videos, which which is kind of bad. Um, you might have, if you've been watching Game Face over the years, you'll notice that when we started, we were like doing maybe one to two videos a week, and slowly just increasing that as we grow as a community. At the, this point in time, I had been trying to do two videos a day and really enjoying doing that because basically. Um, well, the reasoning is kind of shitty, actually, uh, because, uh, my work actually cut back hours recently, so I haven't been getting a whole lot of work at my job, and I've also been having, you know, like, anxiety and depression issues as well, so I've missed some time because of that as well. Uh, it's been a challenging couple months for sure. I've been selling some stuff to keep afloat, but, um, I guess silver lining... I have been doing a lot more game face, which makes me super happy. So I mean, that helps with the depression and stuff. And uh, just you guys as a community being there, seriously, like <laughs> if you guys weren't here, it would be a lot harder. I don't say it, in, well, maybe I say it too much. Maybe I don't say it enough, but just seriously, thank you guys all for being there and um, for supporting us. Game Face isn't going anywhere no matter what happens with ad revenue. We'll always be there making videos. It's just a quantity and quality issue of how much time we can put into it because we gotta pay the bills. That's pretty much what it boils down to. I put pretty much all of my free time into Game Face and I noticed a lot of comments recently like asking for longer episodes, more episodes, and uh, uh, the kind of the sad truth is that this is like, I'm always putting out as much as I can. It's always a balance of money and free time, and putting the videos out on the channel, uh, streaming when we can, all that kind of stuff. So I'm always doing my best to put out as much as I can for you guys and having a blast with it. But I do get frustrated when I can't do as much as I want, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Like, making two videos a week was really fun, but it's uh, not something I'm able to keep up as is, like, with my current working conditions. And I'd love to, like, I want to stream more as well. Like, there's a lot I want to do, which actually kind of brings me into a segue about our Patreon page. That's something we do have available for you guys, but we don't talk about it all that much because I don't like to push it, you know? I don't want to shove it down your throats. You know what I mean? Like, it's there if you want to pledge to us, but I don't want to pressure anybody. On the other hand, a lot of YouTubers do say that if you want your Patreon to be successful, you gotta talk about it. So, talking about it, basically, is what that boils down to. So if anybody was not aware, we do have a Patreon page, which is somewhere we can go to pledge an amount to us on a monthly basis, and it helps us do more content. You can read that about that over. I'll have like a link in the description and stuff. And, uh, and I'm actually in the middle of doing like a revamp on the Patreon, adding a lot more perks and goals and stuff. I'm going to try to make it a more active thing that I'll talk about more and just give you guys incentive for those of you who are pledging to the Patreon. And for everybody who is currently ple pledging to the Patreon, thank you all so much for doing so. It really does help and just brightens my day so much knowing that you guys care about our content that much that you're able to like support us financially in any way. Anybody out there who is like, oh, I don't have any money though, but I really want to help you guys out. 
don't. <laughs> in all honesty, don't if you can't, because I don't want to put you guys in a bad spot. Always put yourself first. Basically, this is just my way of letting people know it's an option. In case people don't know, you know, that's basically the gist of it. There's some pretty neat stuff over there that you can read about, uh, basically talking about how the more the community grows, the more content we'll be able to put out. More episodes, more live streams, more bonus stuff, and uh, there's also some perks I worked in there that were not there before, so if you've checked it out before, there might be some new stuff as well. It's Recently, it's been kind of bothering me the, that the Patreon is just kind of there. You can pledge money to us, but there's not really much in the way of perks or like goals or anything like that to get excited about, so I have kind of revamped the Game Face Patreon to make it more fun and interesting for you guys and us as well. So if you haven't seen it and you are interested in any way, definitely feel free to head over there and just take a look at all the different perks and goals that I added. We've always had the Game Face Patreon Discord group, which is basically any amount you pledge, you get into the Discord. Just It's a little community where we can chat with each other and uh, share, ask questions and you know, pretty much anything that you could do on Discord. Sometimes I'll put out like silly little clips that maybe didn't make it onto the YouTube channel, uh, share thumbnails ahead of time, little little Easter eggs, tidbits of information, and when I can, sometimes I give them the episodes a little early. Um, in the past, that really hasn't happened too much, but I'm hoping that that's something I can put more effort into providing for the community in the future. So for you guys who have been pledging, hopefully I'll have some more interesting stuff for you to look at. You might have noticed if you've been watching our Game Face videos that at the end of every episode, there's a little thank you section where some of the Patreon's names and uh, pictures are included. And another thing I added for one of our higher tiers that um, we currently have Kaden Boreo and Anitsu at the $20 level, which is super generous of them and you guys are amazing. Um, I just, I was kind of thinking how that tier $20 really doesn't have a whole lot of perks to it. And I wanted to be able to offer you guys something, anybody who does pledge that much money to us. So something I'm rolling out for that tier is the monthly VIP rotation appreciation program. Every month we'll be rotating one of those Patreon pledgers and um, I'll be doing like a video with them or a stream and just kind of chatting and hanging out. And if they don't want to do that, I'll just kind of talk about them and how awesome they are in a video or a stream. Basically, it was just something I wanted to do to to give back to you guys a little more. And there's a lot more of that on the Patreon page than there was before. Hopefully a lot more reasons for people who are pledging to us to kind of feel like we're giving something back to the community besides just trying to put out more content for you guys. That That's obviously always the main thing, is that we're putting out more content. Like, I have a specific end goal in mind for what I want Game Face to be. So the more revenue we have coming in between ads, pledges, donations, anything like that, the m closer I get to, like, my end goal, which is, I can just kind of let you know, what I want to be able to do is be able to put three videos a day out on the channel, minimum. Uh, three YouTube videos a day for you guys to enjoy. As well, I'd like to be able to do five live streams a week on a schedule. That's something I'd love to be able to do. We're not even close to that. We stream like once in a blue moon when we can. So like it, they seem like far off things that I really want to be able to do, but I, I think it's obtainable realistically. It's possible, honestly. Like it's just a matter of balancing like revenue coming in time allotment, stuff like that. And we'll slowly get closer and closer to that as the channel grows and as a, like a community as we grow as well. Uh, besides that, there's like some other little things. Uh, something I'd love to be able to do someday is uh, travel to conventions and meet you guys. Currently travel, just that's not really doable for, you know, it costs a lot of money. You gotta have free time. You gotta have a passport. I don't have one of those. I've really never done much traveling at all. I've been outside of Nova Scotia twice maybe only once i went to maine once i think that's it i think that's the only time i've ever been outside of the province so obviously that's a big end goal being able to go to conventions like meet you guys and see some cool stuff for now it's not really something we can do but it's something i can kind of aim towards like the the other stuff i've been talking about here uh you know it's a, it's a goal it's something i want to be able to achieve someday besides that basic kind of uh, improvement stuff I wanted to be able to do higher quality like put more into our setup more into like our computers kind of weak on the CPU side little things like that there's lots of little expenses that we can afford currently that would improve our setup but aren't currently doable a big one is moving we hate where we live it's loud our neighbors are loud the walls are razor thin living here is tough for doing a YouTube channel and streaming so 
you know, moving, that's something we want to do eventually. Uh, that I didn't really put that like as a Patreon goal, but just thinking about it now, that's a, that's a challenge, definitely. Um, living conditions, like anybody who's running a channel, doing anything like that, you probably know what I mean. Ex like if you live with a roommate, anything like that. It can, it can be challenging for sure. There's other stuff I could mention as well, but I'll leave it at that for Patreon. I don't want to blabber on all day about my like ambitions and just being sad that I can't do them all yet. So at the end of the day though, just remember, this isn't me telling you guys to give us a bunch of money. By no means is that what it is. What I want to do is just make people aware that the option is there. Like I, a lot of times I'll notice like people talk about they don't even know that we have a Patreon or what have you and it's because we don't talk about it. So I really should bring it up more often and just not really try not to feel bad about the fact that it's available. I know a lot of people struggle with that as well. Just, you know, you don't want to feel like a sellout. You don't want to feel like you're begging for money, all that stuff. But like, if you guys want to, that's super cool of you. And I don't want to make you feel bad for donating. I also don't want to make people feel bad for not donating. So it's there. We'll leave it at that. Aside from that, I don't think there's much more I wanted to say right now. We covered the fact that uh, channel growth's been amazing, 7,600 subscribers. I uh, just mentioned all the ins and outs of the new Patreon system and the fact that it exists. Oh, I, oh, I did remember one more thing I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, you might have noticed a new kind of video popping up here and there, kind of sporadically, called a Game Face Off, which is something that we added to the channel, kind of a new kind of video that I'm actually really excited about, and I hope that you guys are too. Uh, if you aren't aware of what they are, I'll take a moment to explain it now. Basically, what a Game Face Off is, is it's a one-off video where we have a challenge we have to complete in a game with some weird quirk, and the loser usually gets punished. Maybe the winner gets some sort of prize, but usually it's a punishment because punishments are funny. So for instance, like the first one we did was uh, Donkey Kong Country 20 minute uh, time attack where we picked a level and in 20 minutes we saw who could get the furthest and the loser had to do something gross. I think we ate Marmite, something like that. There's a lot of, you know, like eat hot things, eat things you hate, stuff like that. So if you're into watching people torture themselves, a plus, we got that for you. Uh, if you're into like competitive challenges in video games, we got that covered. Um, if you like short, concise things, like we used to do a lot of let's races, we still will. But uh, kind of the cool thing about the game face off is that it's uh, settled in one video, so you get to see. So like, there's closure in one video, and they can they can range. Like I'll have some episodes that are pretty long, some episodes that are short. Long story short, they're a ton of fun to do. I'm having a blast with them and I really hope that you guys like them too. If you haven't checked out some of the game face-offs, I definitely uh, urge you to do so and I really hope you like them because I want to be able to do more and um, it comes down to you guys enjoying them. So if you haven't already, be sure to leave some likes and comments and stuff like that on the game face-off videos um, if you want to see more because I love them <laughs> and I hope you do too. That's, uh, that's all I really wanted to say about the game face-offs. And I think pretty much all I wanted to say in this video, so I guess I'll end it there. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, leave it down below. I'm always happy to talk to you guys. So I guess that's it for now. I really don't know how to end videos, so I'm just going to move my hands around and stuff. And uh, once again, th thanks so much for supporting Game Face. If you're new, uh, welcome to the Game Face community. We love you. We love you all. And we'll see you in another video. Bye.